Hey guys, Karan from Mobi Scrub here and in this video, I'm going to help you get rid of the navigation bar on your phone and enable gesture navigation. So right now you have a navigation bar at the bottom that you use to go back or switch between apps and use it for home or Google Assistant. And this video will help you get rid of that navigation bar so that you get a complete immersive display experience and use simple swipes from the bottom of the screen to go back, switch between apps, look at your recent apps and even configure to have more shortcuts than you previously had. So you could have shortcuts to, you know, directly open an app or a shortcut or to go back to a previous app. And all of this is possible with two kinds of swipes. One is a quick swipe and another one is a long swipe. So quick swipe could have one option while the longer swipe could do something else for you. And you can configure all of this using one app. Now, some phones come with the option of using gesture-based navigation inherently like OnePlus and Vivo, but some phones like Samsung have the navigation drawer at the bottom and there is just no way to hide that. So I'm going to take you step by step and just follow that. You'll be able to do all of this very easily. And quickly before moving into that, it'll be great if you guys could just subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you guys never miss a video from me. All right, let's get started. First, install Fluid Navigation Gestures from the Play Store. It will give you the option of enabling the gesture, but you will not be able to hide the navigation bar. And that is a big problem because without hiding the navigation bar, it comes on top of that and it makes your interaction very difficult instead of making it really easy. Now, the next steps are here on the screen. First is to go ahead and enable USB debugging. For that, go into Settings, go into About Phone and then Software Information, Look for build number. Tap on build number seven times so that you're able to unlock developer options. Now, once you do that, go back two steps and then scroll all the way down. You should be able to see something called as developer options. If you don't find it, use the search functionality. Now within developer options, enable USB debugging. All of this is super safe and nothing wrong is going to happen to your phone. So don't worry. Now, next step is to hit a link that I will leave in the description below. So click on that and you land over here. Now, depending on whether you have a Windows or a Mac machine, download the platform tools accordingly. Just click on I have read the agreement terms and go ahead. Now, once you get the zip file downloaded, you'll have to extract all the contents into one specific folder. Now, what I would suggest is go to your downloads uh, folder and then pick that file, cut the zip file, go into C drive and paste it over there. Once you do that, I would suggest that you go ahead and rename the file. So if I go down, I have that file over there. Just rename it to something simpler and you will see why. For my video, I'm gonna rename it to Android Tools, okay? Now, just extract all the content to that folder and, well, we'll wait for when it's done. Okay, there we go, it's done. It's, it's called Android Tools, you gotta remember that. Now, just open the command prompt. So I'll hit the Windows key and just type CMD or you could alternatively also do Windows plus R and then type CMD and hit enter. You see the command prompt over here? Just type CD backslash, hit enter. You'll come to this prompt and now just do CD and whatever file name that you had kept, in my case was Android tools. And then type CD platform hyphen tools. Hit enter. And now before executing the command, just make sure that one, your phone is turned on. Two, it's connected to your laptop using, you know, a type C or a micro USB cable. And third, make sure you do have the ADB drivers installed. If you don't, I'll leave a link, just install them to be safe. Now, once you do that, go ahead and copy this command that again, I will leave in the description below and go back to your command prompt and execute it. So just paste it over here and hit enter. If it doesn't work, it means your ADB drivers are not installed. Just make sure you install them and restart your machine. And that's it, you're done. Now you do get the option of enabling the navigation gestures as well as hiding the navigation bar. You will get one disclaimer. Just make sure that if you ever want to bring up your navigation bar again, you will have to do it through this app, okay? And now you could actually go ahead and configure various hotspots, right? So of course the bottom one is the more important. The bottom edge gives you these three hotspots and you can configure them in the sense what will happen if you quick swipe them 
and what would happen if you were to swipe and fold, right? Like a long swipe. And you can configure all of these things. You could also configure a right edge and a left edge if you really want it, like I have done in my case. Now, you only get a couple of options in the free version and all of those are here in front of you. These actions are free of cost, but the possibilities here are quite endless. You could also uh, launch specific apps. So, you know, a long swipe and hold could launch a particular shortcut, a direct dial, a direct WhatsApp shortcut, or anything pretty much that you would want. So again, very powerful and a lot of options to customize. You could also configure a fourth hotspot in the bottom edge. You've got three right now. You could configure the fourth one, but that's again enabled only for pro users. So go ahead and buy this app if you really feel like it. So that's it guys. This was everything that you need to do to get navigation gestures activated on your phone that does not allow hiding the navigation bar. So if you've got a phone that does not allow you gesture-based navigation inherently, like the OnePlus does, like the, like the Vivo phones do, you could do that on pretty much any Android smartphone by doing what I just did in this entire video. Navigation gestures are really helpful. They really change the way you use your phone. It's very fast.